If your print fails and automatic recovery does not work, do not panic, you can still save it. And here's how. One of my prints failed after 27 hours and I did not have enough filament to start over. So, I took the print off the bed and measured the height with calipers. Mine failed at 86.4 mm. This isn't 100% accurate, there's always a chance the last layer did not finish, but it is close enough. Now for the tricky part. If you are printing a single color model, you can just use the cut tool, set the cut height to 86.4 mm and slice. But with multicolor prints, cutting removes all the color data. My workaround is to move the model below the print bed. But there's another problem you can encounter with different slicers. If you open the model coordinates in Cura, the Z value is going to be at zero, which means the first layer of the model is treated as an anchor and the zero represents bed. But in Orca based slicer, the Z value represents the middle of the model. And just to show you again what I mean, I open the same model in Cura, go to the move tool and you can see the Z is set at zero. But now in the Orca based slicer, the Z value for the same model shows us 52.61, which is the middle of the model. So in Cura, I can just type in minus 86.4 in the Z value and the model will be set correctly. And to fix this in Orca based slicers, you have to subtract the printed height from the Z value. So in my case, 52.61 minus 86.4, which gives me minus 33.8. And that's the number I enter in the Z height in the move tool. And as you can see, this way the slicer keeps all the color data and only the missing part gets printed. And now all you have to do after it's printed, you just take some glue and carefully try and align everything as good as you can. This fix is definitely not perfect, but it works. And it definitely beats restarting the whole print and wasting even more time and filament.